Good morning, friends. Hello. I thought I'd just do like a kind of a somewhat of a vlog style video today just to, I don't know, I just wanted to break up the um, spring cleaning content a little and also just felt like the time to share some kind of real, real life stuff with all that's all that's unfolding with before us with this um, the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic and just oh my gosh so today's Sunday <clears throat> what is this the 15th yeah Sunday March 15th so I don't know when this video will go up but I'm sure whenever it does everything will be totally different by then even if it's a couple of days just because everything seems to be changing so rapidly but these are the times um it's sunday and the kids just left to spend um time with their dad and i gotta say <clears throat> i like haven't had anything like any water yet today i probably should have had a drink of water before i started talking but it is i don't know if this gets easier with time i i don't know um but as a, you know, a split family, <clears throat> it's literally like a dagger to my heart every time they leave. It just is, it hurts my heart so much. Um, but at the same time, I recognize and appreciate um, how much they need their dad and benefit from their time with him and are so happy to spend time with him. So... Like I'm totally okay with it and I know it's the, it, I know in my heart that's how it has to be and how it should be and how it's better for the kids. Um, but it just, it still hurts. It hurts so bad. So just want to keep it real there. I wanted to show you before I go downstairs, Cece's room. I don't think I've ever actually showed it. Um, so lately she's been in a phase of sorting. I don't know where she gets this from. She sorts her belongings into categories around her room. And I just think, I just think it's darling. So I'm gonna show you how she has uh, sorted everything. Okay, so on, you know, a clean day, everything would be put away in the closet and drawers and the bins in the closet. But, um, Right now, this is how she's sorted. I just made her bed a little bit. She's working on making it herself too. We're kind of learning that. But she's pulled out all of her dress up stuff and hung it on her drawers. Um, she pulled out all of her bags and she has them kind of strategically placed around the room. So her llama backpack from Lakin. Thank you Lakin for that. She's got her baby dolls over here. So, you know, sorted by type. She moved her princess castle over here. It used to be on her toy chest at the end of her bed. Her little dog friends. So here's where she's got other bags. She's got a couple bags hung there and a bag hung there. She's taken all the shoes out of her closet, including her slippers and her dress-up shoes and her doll's shoes, and lined them all up under her bed. I just think it's so cute. I can't stand it. She's got all of her um, dress-up headbands here, so her mini ears and unicorn headband, her jewelry in a pile right there, and I think, oh yeah, she put all of her little, we bought these at Disney World last year, this was like her souvenir toy, these little mini Anna Elsa dolls, and she's got them on, on the chair there, so... I, I honestly, you guys, I have no clue where she gets this desire to sort things by type into piles and around her room. I have no idea. <laughs> Jokes. Anyway, it's going on eight. So I'm going to try to run to a couple of local stores and grab some last things this morning. Did a huge shop. Um, I did a big shop Thursday and a big shop yesterday. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that when I get home, um, but basically I'm just going to run to Trader Joe's and also the local um, like regular chain grocery store called Jewel to see if I can pick up a few last things um, to make sure my pantry and fridge stock up is complete. Um, and this is not panic buying, this is 
preparedness buying. I want to make sure we have enough fresh food to get us through two weeks and enough non-perishable food to get us through at least a month. Um, that's kind of the guidelines I'm going for. So I will report back when I'm home and I will show you my fridge and my pantry and how I'm stocking up. I'm also just decanting some of this massive hand sanitizer. I somehow managed to snag at Target was that Thursday? Yeah, I was there right right around when they opened and they had one and I bought it. I honestly haven't bought a big bottle of san hand sanitizer since Donnie was a newborn. I have like a couple of minis um, that I keep in my, uh, like on my diaper clutch. Um, but I don't have a large stock of hand sanitizer because I just, we just wash our hands, you know, and uh, I've never been like, I've never stocked hand sanitizer like that since the newborn era has passed. But um, I was happy to score that and cause it's been really hard to find and we've been decanting it into little bottles like I gave one to Don. And I have one that I'm putting in my car cause I have one in my purse. That's the one I already had on my diaper thing. But it's just like, these are the times, you know? Beep. Car's turning on. He's probably gonna blast in a second, be really loud and annoying. Oh my gosh. So I got to Trader Joe's at like 8.10, so it was about 8, 8.15 maybe. They open at eight. It was mobbed, oh my gosh. And literally, I walk in the door, they're pretty well stocked. They have like full staff stocking things really fast. I left the store a half an hour later. It was like half the stuff was already gone from the whole store. Oh my gosh, so I actually bought a lot more than I was anticipating. I only brought in three bags, and I should have brought in like six. I'll put in a little snapshot of my cart. I bought some flowers because that's my favorite place to buy flowers, and it might seem frivolous at this time, but I don't know, any little bits of joy we can glean in these trying times, we I'll take, and I bought some for my mom, um, too. So, and then I popped over to Starbucks, and as usual, when I have it, which hopefully is most of the time, I brought my Hydro Flask with me, and they're not, they're not even letting you fill your own cup because of the, because of the virus. I mean, I get it, I get it, but it's like, oh my gosh, there's gonna be so much glove use, disposable use, like, I mean, I know it's, these are the times when we really need things like that, and I'm glad that we have the ability to use things that are disposable, that keep us safer in crises, but that just, I think it even more highlights why we should be using reusables when it's not a pandemic, which is, let's be honest, most all of the time. Um, here comes the heat. Because now it's just, it's just so much, just so much going into the landfills. And we can't necessarily see the effects right now in our everyday life although if you look closely enough you can we will be seeing huge effects huge effects in the future of the plastic consumption in this country in this world anyway get off my soapbox about that I got an oat milk latte because hello heat's coming on I'm listening it's so loud, I'm sorry. I'm listening to the new Mandy Moore album. And I think, I think I will pop into Jewel. I bought most of what I wanted at Trader Joe's actually. They were pretty well stocked, but I just want to check out their frozen stuff. Just see if I can get some more waffles, because the kids love the waffles, and some ice cream sandwiches, because they love those too. And I have not been able to find my Earth Balance sticks. And that's what I use for baking. So that's the one thing that I have not been able to find. Um, anyway, let's go to Jewel, yay. Nothing like the welcome wagon. I think she must have broken a bow because <laughs> she's down to one. That, I don't think that's ever happened before, but that's all right. There is nothing, nothing like being greeted by your dog. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, I love you, such a good girl. I have so many groceries to unload and then we'll go for a walk, okay? I promise. Well then, time to put all that away. Oh boy. Okay, so I got everything put away and basically this is the most stocked that my pantry has ever been. But, like I said, 
we just, it's all stuff that we can eat. I'm freezing anything that's perishable that we won't consume this week that is freezable. And then the fridge, I mean, this is just, this is like next level stocked for us. This is my refrigerator in the last few months has maybe had a fifth of the amount of stuff in it. I hate having lots of food on hand that I know is not gonna get all used. I mean, there's just me and the two little kids here most of the time, so this is nuts. Like, this is really nuts, but we will do our best to eat as much of it as possible and we'll share what we cannot eat with our immediate family. That's everything. And I'm not showing you this to be like, hmm, I'm so prepared, or for people to be like, hey, you bought the wrong things, you're dumb. Please, if you have comments like that, please refrain from posting them because I'm just gonna delete them. Otherwise, I think this is a very tense time and people can tend to take out their feelings of anxiety and uncertainty on other people unintentionally. Um, so yeah, let's try to promote healthy, happy, positive, com well, maybe not happy, but healthy, positive, supportive, um, interactions with each other during this really tough time. We're all just doing the best we can in really unprecedented territory for us. Um, you know, like I know there's gonna be, be people who be like, you bought ridiculous things or you don't have enough or you have too much or why didn't you use disinfecting wipes before? And I, I'm not here to judge what other people do or do not do. I think if you're doing a responsible thing and social distancing, which is what we are doing, we decided in our family that we would only see immediate family for the next couple of weeks, um, only be in contact with immediate family. So that means me and Don and the kids will only really be in contact with um, Don and my parents and our respective siblings and their children. And that's it. And we're just, that's, that's the way that we're keeping our community and keeping connected while doing our part to, <clears throat> you know, honor so social distancing. Not going to restaurants, not going to public unnecessary things that, you know, making, like I did all this grocery shopping over the past two, three days so we wouldn't have to go to the store for a couple of weeks minimum, you know? Um, and starting, like now, we don't have to really go anywhere except to drive to each other's houses. And we'll hand sanitize and we'll wash our hands and we'll do all those things. So this is just, I just wanted to share this because this is how I'm coping is by preparing in these ways. In addition to food, I went ahead, I think it was like mid last week and I just ordered a big box from Honest Company of pull-ups because my son is not fully potty trained yet and wipes, like kids wipes, because we still use those quite a bit, and like bubble bath, and their shampoo and conditioner, just to have those things. Like, so I have like a month supply of that. I also bought myself feminine supplies to last this cycle, which I'm about to get my period to, I don't know. And then another cycle, so I just in case, like I can't get those things, now I have the supplies to last me through the next two cycles. Um, and things like detergent, distilled white vinegar for cleaning the house and um, bleach for that sort of stuff and to have all that. So I feel, I feel as well prepared as I can be walking into a completely unknown territory, but I also feel like we have enough, we have the kind of stuff that we will use anyway and I just won't go to the store as frequently if by some miracle this all lifts and we're like clear to go places in a couple of weeks, which I just don't see how that's possible at this point, but I just don't know. So I just, I don't know, I felt like sharing this because I didn't know if it would be interesting or entertaining or whatever to some of you. Um, I, I don't know what else, I know people are gonna be like, what about medical supplies? We have plenty of the like, things like that on hand. I already have stocked on hand. People have made fun of me in years past for having like backups of things and I don't have crazy back, except for right now, I don't have crazy backups of things anymore. But what I do is important things is I make sure I have at least one in reserve. So for instance, um, like the kids vitamins, I always have one bottle in reserve. So I always have 
a supply for the next month even you know in the event that we can't get it sometimes they run out of their vitamins that kind of thing um toilet paper i get on a subscription from amazon i'm, I'm not honestly worried about toilet paper because i think there's more than one way to clean your butt but our subscription just happened to deliver yesterday so we have enough toilet paper to last us three months because i order it once every three months and one box of toilet paper lasts us three months in our house well in short i feel pretty this this just makes me feel better plain and simple just to have these things set and feel like we're doing our part we're just gonna hunker down we've got lots of toys and activities and coloring and movies and things we can do at home and the weather is not very nice right now but hopefully we'll warm up and we can play in our backyard my sister-in-law has a play set in her backyard which is so nice because it's like a private playground so we can go play there and we can walk there we don't even have to drive i mean it's just <sighs> yeah these little little things that are giving me um comfort because honestly like this is just this is scary and i tend to get swept away in anxiety um when it festers so what i do to help me with that especially in a time where this is like super out of our control we don't know what to expect really and things are just so tense right now with everybody is i check in with news outlets in the morning when i feel the most calm and ready for that <clears throat> i have a couple of friends who um We've, we're like in a group chat, a group text, and they text back and forth a lot about current things that are happening, and they kind of help keep me in the loop that way too, without me having to look at news outlets, because news outlets can really spike my anxiety at any time, not just during a pandemic. Um, and then I just let myself focus on my kids and try to be as normal as possible when I'm with them, which is much easier when when you know we're during their waking hours because I just go into full full blown mommy mode and it's almost like my brain just switches to that mode and and I and I feel very relatively calm and I feel grounded and I feel okay and then it's like when they go in for naps or when they're with their dad or when they go to bed at night that's when my anxiety tends to flare up and I need to shut off the outside world um and so I won't look at news and I'll try not to look at even Instagram has been triggering lately and I, and I love my friends and I, and I do my best to keep up with them during the day, but I won't look at my texts in the evening. I'll catch up with their texts in the morning when I feel myself getting overwhelmed. And instead I'll get in a nice Epsom salt bath. I did get one extra bag of Epsom salt, so I have two in reserve because I felt like I need that right now. Um, Cause that the magnesium just helps with stress and cortisol management um and i'll read a, i'm reading this awesome book by glennon doyle her newest book if you're looking for a really good read highly recommend it if you can't get your hands on a copy right now i recommend the audio version um because she reads it herself and there's something really extra special about hearing an author read their work in their own voice i think uh, so i'm actually reading it and listening to it simultaneously and it is blowing my mind so more on that later um but yeah just honestly having the kids is such a blessing during this time i because otherwise i think i'd be in full-blown panic mode but i can't be in full bloom i can't even be in like moderate panic mode when i'm in full-blown mommy mode because my brain won't allow it it's like okay we're in mommy mode now let's get through this day and let's do these things and let's feed ourselves these things and let's bake together and let's color this and let's watch this movie right now because we need to chill out and let's you know like i said it's those 90 percent of the day maybe 80 percent of the day i'm fine and then the other 20 percent when it's quiet and i'm still awake and it's i'm not fine so i'm doing my best i hope you guys are too i'd love to hear what some of your coping tech tactics have been and what some of like tell me what your strangest thing that you stocked up on is i'm trying to think like out of all the things that i've bought what is the strangest like unexplicable thing i don't know if this is really that strange like but if you're in a crisis do you think to stock up on your favorite seasoning <laughs> i bought two bottles of this i already have an extra one we're almost done with the bottle we currently are using so now i have three bottles of this now 
in my defense, we do, do go through one of these bottles like every two weeks because my son and I both are obsessed. That might be the craziest thing that I stocked up on. I think. I think. Oh, and I did buy my kids one thing that's going to arrive as like a special treat. Um, is Donnie's been really obsessed with baby dolls and Cece does not want to share her baby doll, her like three baby dolls right now. And I'm trying to encourage sharing and it's just that they were hers, like they were gifts to her before, even before Donnie was born. I think one, no, two, once she got for her birthday this year, the one that he really likes was the one that I gave her as a gift when Donnie was born. So she would have a baby while mommy had a baby. And that's the one he really likes. So I bought him his own. And I bought each of them a little baby doll stroller that would look exactly the same. They're both like 20 bucks, but nothing different. So they both have the same because, you know, they will argue over one of them if they're even slightly different. So Donnie will have his own baby doll and Cece will have hers and they both have their strollers. So that's the one toy splurge I got for them because we're basically stuck at home for who knows how long. But uh, that should come in the mail this week. And yeah, I don't know. Those are the, the like most unreasonable things I bought, I guess. That's what's happening. <sighs> That's what's happening. All right, you guys. I Like I said, please be kind in your comments and, and consider your words. Are they kind? Are they necessary? Are they helpful before you say them? Um, especially considering this delicate time when everybody's feeling really... I mean, I can't, I don't know one person who isn't really freaking out about this on some level, whether they admit it or not, you can just tell. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please stay well, please think and act responsibly. And I will, I'm, I'm gonna tackle some projects this week. I'm like still talking. I'm still talking. Is this interesting? I don't know. All right, y'all, take care. Thank you for watching. I'm thinking of you and I'm with you. We're all together in spirit and in love. And we will we'll overcome this. We will. We just have to work together. All right, you guys, take care.